Hello guys and gals. Uh, welcome to this video uh, hosted by martinmopeds.com. Uh, this video will be simulating a load of electricity. I just built this. This is my newest project that I've been working on. This is building a dummy load bank basically. And what it does is it simulates electrical current and it will allow me to measure the voltage and amps aka the current and actually i've also put in an rpm gauge but that's not relevant for this video in this video we'll simply be measuring the current and i'll demonstrate how that's done using this load bank i'll be using this to test uh stators and alternators and the amount of available elect electrical output on all these different types of stators that are out there but that's for a different video this one is just strictly to show off this new project that I've been working on. So, in short, what I'm doing here is I've hooked up, and this is just a standard moped battery. This is a 7 amp hour battery. Uh, nothing special about it. Same kind you'll find in a standard 150cc scooter, Chinese scooter. And... Uh, I don't have any current being generated to it, so this won't be prolonged test. It's just to demonstrate how this will work. Now, this will work the same way uh, if I hook it up to a running moped or not, or a running motorcycle or even a car. All this does is simulates load, and it will tell me how much voltage and amps I'm pulling, and uh, how much is available. So basically uh to get this started i've got this this little device right here this is my meter for the voltage and amperage uh that needed to be ran off a isolated 12 volt power supply so i've installed a old computer power supply in there i also use it to power my fans and my uh my uh rpm led uh gauge i don't know if you call them a gauge when they're little led panels but anyways instrument panel but th that's the first step of this you gotta uh plug this in and that will bring the power on that brings the power on and as you can see it's measuring 12.5 volts now it's not showing any current right now. I'll show you the guts of this in a second. But basically, I've, is what I've done is I've installed load resistors. And they simulate an electrical load. So, when I flick these switches on, as you can see, now it's uh, pulling 4.13 amps at 11 volts which is roughly uh, right around 44 45 watts so and that's what that I've actually got a 50 watt load resistor on there now if we flick another one on bam it jumps up 8.53 basically we're at a uh, hundred watts a little a little under a hundred watts probably 90 watts and it will keep rapidly draining now see that's how I'm gonna measure the current on these stators when I drop down below uh, safe charging levels 12.6 uh, actually good charging levels are in the 14.4 but safe levels are at 12.6 and I'm gonna keep flipping on uh, I'm gonna keep putting on electrical loads until I start dropping below that threshold so, in short, that's how that works. And I just wanted to show, make this video to show you guys what I had going on. Flick them on. <laughs> but, of course, this won't last very long because I have nothing charging this battery. So, now, okay, now we'll move to the in, the inner workings of it, and I'll show you how I got it all wired up. Okay, so here we go. Here's the insides. 
And basically, all they are is, these are the load resistors, these are the toggles. You flick on your toggle switches and it turns on a load to that circuit. Comes over here, all the circuits join to the, uh, this is a just a little, uh, I don't even know what to call them, a uh, distribution block or something. But anyways, all the load resistors, they come in on one wire down here, one big wire. They come up and they go off to this distribution block. From there, each one breaks off to their individual toggle. The toggle powers, uh, or the, when you flick a toggle on, it allows current to go to that circuit. When you apply, when you activate that toggle, it puts a certain amount of electrical load on there. Uh, basically, that's why they call it a dummy load, is it simulates a certain amount of electrical current. Now, basically, is what I've done is I've put them in here to total up to uh, 500 watts. So I can test up to uh, 500 watts on, on this specific setup. But I have one more open uh, one one more open port on my uh, distribution block, so I can at a later point add a 500 watt resistor on here and increase the capacity of this up to a thousand watts. But anyways, once it comes in and comes out of your uh, power resistors, uh, it's going to come down here to your shunt. The shunt basically is what it. It is what it says it is, and it shunts the electrical current, and uh, it branches off to the voltmeter. Now, this other device that I got hooked up right here, this is specifically just for the RPMs of the motor, because alternators and stators produce uh, different amounts of current at different RPMs. That's why you may see dim headlights at low RPM, and when you're at wide open throttle, you'll see super bright headlights. That's why. It's because you're generating more or less current as the alternator, you know, goes faster. You know, as the flywheel goes around the stator. So, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys the guts of this thing. It took a lot of wiring. It took me... I don't know, I'd say probably got 24 hours worth of work. I had to solder all these little connections. Took a ridiculous amount of time. Look at that. That's a good solder job though, huh? These power resistors produce a lot of heat. That's why I put them on this giant chunk of aluminum that's in this case. This case, it's just an old metal case that I had laying around from... I gutted it out of a 32U server cabinet. And... All these little screws you see, those are just screws that I salvaged, salvaged out of various electronics over the years. You know, when a TV or monitor or computer break down or something, strip it down, keep all your screws. That's what all these little screws are. So, really, there's not much expense to buying one of these. These are my fans. These are massive 120 millimeter delta fans. These things blow about 100 and, uh, 130 CFM, which is a lot. <clears throat> They're powered off the computer power supply. I'm a PC technician by trade, so that's why I have so much extra computer hardware just laying around. So anyways, that's it guys and gals, uh, DMart95 from Martin Mopeds, and this is the this will be part of a playlist that I'll do where I'm going to test the electrical output of basically every single stator that's out there for a GY6. I'm going to test it on the scooter, and I'm going to test it in a standalone configuration. So we'll finally get to the bottom of this and figure out just how much uh, wattage you can get from a GY6 stator. So anyways, thanks for watching guys and gals, and I hope you learned something because I sure learned a couple things uh, building this. I had a buddy from uh, a different forum helped me out. It, really smart guy. Yeah, awesome guy. Uh, give a shout out to him, SJQ. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys and gals. I'm out. Uh, D Martin 95 from Martin Mopeds. You can also uh, see us at uh, GY6 Te Tech Depot and uh, 
Have a good one.